Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and welcome back to another Worms commentary of matches between Deathwish808 and a load of crap recorded on the 5th of May. Today we're starting off with an indoor map, and a load of crap is going to get us underway here on the left-hand side. Worms are pretty evenly spread. There is a little danger area just off-center to the right there where there is three mines. Just watch for that as a load of crap starts us off with a bazooka shot over to Deathwish's Worm and hits the barrels with a nice 71 damage to get us underway. Couldn't quite get that mine involved, but it's now over to Deathwish who... Uh, there's three worms that he could uh, aim for here. Can, uh, help you You're going to have to think that he's going to go for the high like worm that. on the brolly. Uh, Try and knock it back onto that mine uh, as he pulls out the bazooka the and aims up the shot. That make it. There's a nice brolly ramp there for you. And uh, there we go. It's an instant uh, mine as well. Sends the worm flying back towards the left. It would have been really nice if we would have managed to get a little bit more distance because that could have potentially brought those three mines into play in the uh, just off to the center right there and could have caused some real carnage in the early stages of the map. But a uh, good retaliation shot from Deathwish. Load of crap though now with the retaliation on that worm that has just been damaged. Is he going to be able to backflip on top of this brolly? I think it's going to be a little bit too high. But he's trying. That little point. Just think it's a little bit out of reach though for him, so I think we're going to see him uh, abandon this yeah, effort momentarily. Point. And he's going to go for the barrel above Deathwish's head, which should cause some really big damage indeed. Let's see what the outcome is. Wind is against him, but it's only a short shot, it's not going to make too much of a difference. The fire is down, and it uh, misses all the worms, just luckily, so in amongst the mines, there's some more fire is falling in the left center there. Deathwish's worm just out of the way of that. Deathwish now has the ability to bring these mines into play. If he's going to go for this worm on top of the golf shoe, he does indeed. But actually, he's just disturbed all of the mines. We had a dud, and then I think he's caused some damage to himself and taken out his own worm there. But yeah, one of the three was a dud. I think one was pretty much a one second, and then the final one rattled around a bit before taking a load of crap's worm down to 39 health. But sometimes if you want some big damage, you do have to sacrifice yourself every now and again. But uh, back to a load of crap here. Doesn't really have a lot of options. Going to have to go for Deathwish's worm over here. And uh, I think he'll be able to bring the explosive barrel into play in regards to damaging Deathwish on this shot. But let's see what he's going to do. We're already starting to see a bit of divide opening up in this map. A load of crap controlling the right and central areas here as he takes out his own worm. Whoopsie. And then Deathwish with 2 to 1 over on the left hand side. <laughs> Is that fire going to drop on that uh, worm's head? No, it's extinguished. So, a load of crap uh, gets away with that one as Deathwish is scaling the, whirl, the, the wall. Not the worm, he's scaling the wall over on this right hand side here, but chooses to go for the grenade. He's going to try and knock the worm backwards towards the center of the map. He does indeed. And nice. Oh, I was going to say nicely onto the mine there. He is just. Inches away, unfortunately, but that was a really good shot from Deathwish indeed. I didn't think he was going to try and uh, maneuver a load of crap's worm back towards the center of the map. So we're back now with a load of crap. Is he going to jump across to get on the golf shoe, or is he going to stay where he is? Opts to do the former. But whether or not he can backflip onto this golf shoe. I think it yeah, might just be that, a little bit too much of an angle. He's not having much luck with the uh, these backflips today. Uh, Second worm here that's strolled. He's given up on that idea now. He's going to rescale the left-hand side here. I think again, once again, that's going to be too high for him to scale up there. So 10 seconds on the, on the shot clock. So he's going to be, to be pressured into playing a shot here. And uh, not a bad shot. Almost maximum damage. From that shot, but we're back with Deathwish now, and I think he has an opportunity here to eliminate a load of crap's worm on the left hand side with this shot. You would have to think it would be a grenade up and over. Is now Deathwish is he taunting a load of crap? I think he may be. <laughs> As I said in previous, Deathwish is really good with his um, backflips and often 
ribs me about not being able to do different bits and pieces. So the grenade's up and down, but unfortunately it's gone the wrong way. The mine, though, should sort out that worm. Was it enough damage? It was more than enough damage. And Death Wish brings it back to a three on three. And like I said, we've got that very big divide now of left and right on the map. So the next little, um, the, the next few shots and the next uh, period of time is going to be interesting to see how they're going to develop that central area and see if they can open up some lines of attack to the other person. At least not this early. Maybe we'll see that first attempt here from a load of crap. He comes and really got an angle on the worm below him. And there's no real yeah, way for a bank shot. So maybe we're going to see our first opening up and working on here. Maybe he thinks he's got a shot here. Could he thread it through? I think I, I seem to think he was looking there to see if he could thread that through. The wind would have worked with him. He just went a little bit too high with the bazooka shot. A little lower if he'd got a little, little bit less height. Sorry, my English is terrible this morning. If he got a little less height, then... I think he would have just nicely glided through with that wind. Death wish there. Not quite right with his angles and just takes away some geometry and actually opens up a bigger um, gap there for other worms to attack him. So that may work against him in the um, up and coming shots here. Especially with this worm here, which doesn't have as good of an angle. Have a good feeling that Is Lord Crack going to switch to a grenade though, or does he think he can do this with a bazooka? The sure grenade is indeed, thought he might. Oh, really? Just on. catches the lip. Does the grenade bounce up? I no, it doesn't. Just can't quite make it onto that ledge where Death Wish was. It could have been um, catastrophic. Have Although I think that actually, that was the dud mine, from, dud mine from earlier on, sorry. So it wouldn't have made a difference. It's not going to do any sort of damage at all. Death Wish now doesn't really have a lot of options with this worm. Is he going to once again think about developing that central area? I don't even. Gotta be careful though if he's gonna try and use a bazooka to develop the area because he's got a worm sat on top of that bottle and he doesn't want to take that out. So the angle looks a bit steep. And we're just making pretty fireworks in the sky, it seems, on that attempt. Holy crap though, now has the ability to put some hurt on Deathwish here on the right hand side of the map with his fifty eight worm. Just let him chill for now. I don't know if he's going to have enough of an angle to drop the worm down into the fire. We'll see. Not quite. He he got some good air time on the worm. It was a really good shot. But unfortunately, Death Wish's worm just clung on to the bottom of the side of that golf boot. And um, you have to think, though, if uh, he'd have slid right off there, that worm would have been uh, dead. So it was a really good shot from a load of crap. Just a shame that the okay. geometry and uh, debris uh, got in the way the of excluding, executing yeah, the master plan. My it. English is terrible this morning. Excluting. What is excluting? Who knows? Uh, uh, anyway, back with Death Wish here. Got to, got He's got a four win, so I think we're going to see a nice little shot there. He clears out uh, yeah, a bit more of an short. angle I there. Was, I, knew that was gonna I be think tight. at the moment, looking at the way the debris and all the, the scenery and everything is pictured around, I think that yeah, is only going to benefit Death Wish. Power, now. I don't think I wanna, if a load of crap could get a bazooka I shot through, I don't think he it would drop enough because of the debris on the back of that golf boot near Death Wish's 29 worm there that he would be able to get a bazooka shot down. So grenades might work, but let's see what a load of crap does. He's going to choose to maybe... Doing a little bit more terraforming here. Oh, Takes out the point. But like I say, Death Wish is just seems to be protected by those few, those three areas of pixels on the back of where that golf boot was. So it's got to. Uh, Holy crap's going to have to work on that if he wants to be able to um, cause any more damage. I think Death Wish here is going to go for a shot underneath and try and drop him and kill this worm with fall damage and splatter damage. So let's see. It's 13, drops down, and yes, I think that was enough. It may even take Deathwish's worm out though as well. No, Deathwish's worm hangs on with seven hit points. So yeah, you got to think though that that worm is going to be next. And then we're back to our game of chess here in the middle. I'm okay with that. Now what you gotta do is say... Deathwish doesn't really have a route that he could bring the worm over. To a load of crap going, trying to get a little roll around there with the grenade, but didn't quite have enough momentum to do that, unfortunately. It's just amazing to me. It goes exactly where I didn't want it the first time, and it goes exactly where I didn't want it the second. 
Like, oh, look, and that's two totally so different. She's going to do this time. He's going to do the same again. Uh, no, he's going to try a bazooka shot this time. And it looks like he's going to start trying to make a way through at the bottom of the map. So Deathwish opting to be the first here to try and make a tunnel through. Like I, said, I think he's 29 worm at the top of the map there. Still has some options available, especially for attacking that 58 worm. Load of crap that's really going to be struggling here. He could go over to the golf boot, although I don't think he could make that last time, could he? Yeah, especially with that one. But, uh, yeah, he's that dealing with Deathwish's seven worm here first. Gets rid of that one. And now we are down to two on two. Well, that's disappointing. If that worm decides to do its death animation, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, just does it for a moment. Blowing bubbles. So Deathwish has a bit of wind here. So now I don't have a shot. I think it's going to do enough though to bring a bazooka down. So what we could really do with a grenade either. Which is not a problem for you. Pixels right in front of him are kind of like a blessing and a curse. They they protect him from a few aerial shots, but at the same time limit his angles down to what he can actually do. So three seconds though. Okay, that was not bad. I think it. I thought for a moment that the grain was going to bounce off the back of the golf shoe there and head back towards a load of craps 58 worm, but uh, unfortunately that wasn't the case in this instance. Well, of course it's worms. <laughs> Just, uh, didn't quite get the bounce off the back of the golf shoe here. A load of craps going to try some grenade terraforming. Oh, he's switched to the bazooka, so he's going to try and take out some of these pixel ledges here, which will help him out because Deathwish won't now be able to bounce any grenades off that area at the top. So Deathwish has to be really a lot more precise, I think, with those up-and-coming grenade shots. I assume we're going to see the same here again from Deathwish, just more terraforming and making his way slowly but surely over to the right-hand side of the map. Of course, it's going to come to a point where he's going to be in there and Alan Krupp's not going to be able to attack his worm. Now, load crap is going to go and try once again to get up that left side, but quickly gives up having realised, yeah, we've already tried that and it didn't work out before. So, he's going to have to go for a grenade shot here. Doesn't have the wind or an angle really for a bazooka shot. And that's one way to do it. I mean, he's he's damaged himself considerably with a direct grenade shot like that, but he has now opened up a whole world of angles now for that worm, providing it can survive this next shot from Deathwish, who has four wind. So I don't think, though, I think it's too much for a bazooka shot. I think the bazooka would go too far, so he's going back with... He's going back with a grenade. Good little plinko shot there. Ten damage, not quite enough. The worm holds on, so a load of crap will get one shot with that worm to try and do some damage. And he may, if he can, if the stars align, may be able to take out that 29 worm of Deathwish 808 and then wait for the tunnel to connect the two sides together, I guess, is going to be the next thing. But let's see, he's got two attempts at it, and that's the first. Yeah, screw that crap. Takes away some more pixels there. Now that's going to limit Deathwish on his next shot. He's not going to be able to bounce the grenade down quite as much as he did before. Deathwish, though, looking at the wind this time and opted to go high, but went too high, unfortunately, with the shot. So he had to get a decent amount of height to be able to clear his own worm, but unfortunately, he just went a little bit too high. So let's see if a load of crap can do anything with this one shot he has here. Of course, the next shot isn't going to be as easy for Deathwish because that central area is gone. And I don't know if there's any pixels left. There is a few. And a uh, load of crap manages to find them. I did see a couple, but I didn't know how many were. It's sometimes hard to see whether or not there are any pixels on the brown area. And there was one just above it, which I saw, which a load of crap managed to find. But I think there may have been some more in and around that area. But like I say, it's, it's really difficult to see the pixels as Deathwish with the bazooka shot just goes over the top. So 
A load of crap has got another shot with that worm, assuming that Deathwish can't do anything with uh, the right conditions in his next shot on the bottom left-hand worm. You gotta be accurate. Uh, you gotta be precise. I was only accurate. A load of crap now, teeing up the uh, worm here. So, he's gotta be careful with the bazooka shot again. It's four wind, and that's gonna carry the bazooka quite a lot if he opts for it. He may be better angling towards the right, which I think he's now going to do. It'll curve back round, but uh, once much, again, just like Deathwish, it was just a little bit too high and isn't able to capitalize on that wind. So we're still locked into a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Both competitors trying to go for cross map shots as Deathwish finds his way through just a little bit too low. It was a very good shot, though, from Deathwish. The height was just about right. So, condition, again, once conditions again, that'll be a good reference point for. Uh, another shot. A, a, a tenth of a second a load of crap learned anything from ahead. his previous shots. No, he's gone too high. Opening up more and more angles each time. I did think he might go for a grenade a grenade shot there as opposed to a rocket. Uh, it's just, just a matter of time. Death wish though with three wind. Just a little bit too low with that worm also. It's getting tantalizingly close though to knocking that worm off its perch. That was two different winds I had to deal with, so Fortunately a load of crap could really do with trying to bring this thirty nine worm more into the game here. Wind totally against him this time, so he is gonna have to pull out a grenade. Can he bounce it off the ceiling though? Is there enough to bounce it off? Luck is your best friend. Good luck. He doesn't need to, and he has now removed some of those pixels in front of Deathwish. So the barrier is gone, but also the restriction is gone. Like I said, blessing and curse. Deathwish now has a free reign with the angles there. And he takes out some more ceiling drums. It was a nice up and over, but. Uh, Definitely, the worm down below for Deathwish now has a lot more options wow. now that all of that area has been terraformed above. What can a load of crap do, though, in retaliation with his three worms? So all that debris is gone. He's got four wins. This is this is the perfect opportunity here. Can he knock Deathwish's worm off its perch? Let's see. It's a little bit too low, unfortunately. A little bit too low. And uh, now you got to feel that that worm is very exposed here from Deathwish's next shot. Definitely, I think looking at the situation right now, Death, the pendulum has swung in Deathwish's direction. All the angles and everything look like they're lining up. It goes a little bit too high this time. So we've been too low, too high. Maybe next time he'll get it just right in the middle. All the time, though, it's offering and allowing a load of crap. These little shots and these little pops. Wrong. Not managed to hook anything up as of yet, but he does have a bit of wind. I think he'll stick with a grenade over here. I don't think the wind is powerful enough from where he is to be able to do anything. There we go. That's the shot. And Deathwish is down to one. Deathwish is down to one. And you've got to think that a load of crap's worm on the golf boot now, the, the three health point worm, is a lot safer than it was previously. Will Deathwish opt to go back lower or is he going to continue the aerial assault here the wind isn't really with him for a bazooka shot i don't think so it'll be interesting to see what he chooses to do here giving it some good thought maybe his abacus isn't giving him the right solution he's probably frantically recalculating it as we speak down to 15 on the shot clock really needs to hurry this up if he's going to go for anything not like death wish just to be running down the clock the first, Final ten. The second one, or, he is going to go back to, to some terraforming. Got to be careful of that mine, though. And uh, he's bringing that worm into safety. Too. So I think we're going to see now a bit side. of a uh, bit more the digging till the right meets the left, or the left meets the right, depending on who right. makes the breakthrough well, okay, here. On that left -hand side. But certainly, that kind of isolates this on, worm so here on the far side. The only thing a load cracker could do, if he could get a grenade where that mine is, he could potentially drop that mine down wow. to right. Deathwish well, below. Well, He's going for a shot good. off the back wall. Doesn't quite pan out though, unfortunately. <laughs> really <far. laughs> you it. But yeah, looking at that mine, um, 
just in that little area above where Deathwish is currently tunneling. If you could get a grenade in there and just take out those few pixels below, potentially drop the mine down, that could um, certainly spice things up for Deathwish. Now I got some cover. I think it would drop and roll. And even if it doesn't roll towards Deathwish, it would still mean that he's got to be careful when he's doing his uh, bazooka excavating here because. So your bazooka shot would definitely make that fly around. That one's up and over, and I think a load of crap has just taken out his own worm. If there's no fall damage, he'll be all right. He's all right, but he has got two worms now on three health. Things are not looking good for a load of crap. As Deathwish continues to bore his way through. Uh, do that one more time. The window of opportunity uh, for that uh, keep, keep grenade shot on the mine is running out, though. Uh, Deathwish is going to be past that point momentarily, so if uh, a load of crap has seen it and wants to try it, I think this has got to be the time. But no, nope, it's uh, another shot. Goes with a little bit of a different angle, a little less power, but unfortunately that one is too low and can't really, again, bounce off into the path of Deathwish. Big ass hole I'm, I'm down in. Get all the little pockets. I did think maybe Deathwish had made a mistake there. I thought the bazooka might have hit that little lip in front of his worm. However, he manages to fight another day. So I think one or two more shots, and uh, we're going to see a breakthrough here. A load of crap is aware of that, and I think he's going to start to try and retreat his worms a little bit here. Yeah, see, I'll, here's what will happen. Mine shot would still be on. I just don't know if it's a viable shot. I don't know if it would work or not, to be fair. Let me know in the comments whether or not that is a shot that would work. And then your last worm. Oh, go all the way down. Dang it. I knew it would It all depends on where the grenade would hit, I suppose, as to whether or not it flicked the mine up in the air and left it where it was. So I think it would probably be a 50-50 shot, to be honest, but... It's certainly something I would take the risk for and see about doing. One more so one more worried. shot in the central area, and we've got uh, we'll have a breakthrough here. That is true. And then comes my. So what does a load of crap uh, choose prediction. to do? He can't retreat this worm here. Then comes my prediction. I think he'll stick with the aerial barrage here though, and he'll um, let Deathwish do the hard work and make the breakthrough. He does have the high ground when it comes around to sudden death, which. He's obviously going to play into his favour. And now he's got another mine here, tantalisingly close to uh, falling through into the gap above Deathwish. So, lots of uh, interesting things playing out here. Watch this one very, very closely. So, a load of crap now has a free shot at Deathwish. Deathwish has made the breakthrough, and I don't believe there's any pixels there, so... Let's see what's going to happen here. Looks like he's going to go right over to Deathwish's worm as well. I think he wants to leave anything to chance. So, yeah, I think maximum damage here is going to put him in the best possible situation. Well, I called that. So it's 45, that'll drop him to 19. And a load of crap has two worms. So interestingly enough, the pendulum now swings with a load of crap. You've got to believe that obviously Deathwish is going to take out that worm there. So it all rests on a load of crap's next shot. If he can get a good angle here and close enough to Deathwish's worm, he takes the win. If not, you have to think that Deathwish is going to end up punishing a load of crap. But let's see, he has got some pixels right in front of him which are going to really hamper and affect his angle here. Will he clear it? And will he make his way through there? The wind is going to push this one down as well because it's against him. Not the ideal conditions here. I don't think the conditions are right, but let's see. He's got to take it. Yeah, it doesn't quite make it through, 
Like I said, the wind against him is always going to push that bazooka shot down further than you actually aim. So it was always going to be a tough shot. Unfortunate there for a load of crap. Now Deathwish. Got to think he's going to take it here. Nothing blocking his shot here. Just a really easy one. Textbook. And there we go. Deathwish takes the first match of this series. So uh, let's regroup and head on into the next one. All right, so we're back to more familiar territory here with a pond map for match number two. A couple of high worms, a lot of barrels around a load of craps worms on the right-hand side there. Some mines and barrels on the left around Deathwish's worm. You have to say, though, the left-hand side of the map is pretty bleak and empty, and it is Deathwish to get us underway here with a bazooka shot. Going to have to think. You've got to go for the, the one around the barrel, right? It's going to be just right. And that worm is out of the game straight away. And uh, pretty perfect start there. Deathwish, though, he's going to have some fire raining down on his worm there. Middle right, so keep an eye on that fire. A load of crap now with the retaliation shot. Is he going to go for the worm above, or is he going to go for the cross map? It looks like he's going to go for the one above. You've just got to take those sorts of shots when worms are on barrels and mines. You've got to take it. Help. Got to be careful, though. He's going to move his worm in safety. He does indeed. It's up. It's oh, over. It's onto another mine. Big, fire. big carnage there. Oh, and there we go. There's a fire on the right-hand oh, side. 138 damage. Excellent nice. shot. So many nice. explosive nice. devices out around that worm. So unsurprising. Guy. And we are straight back yeah. to a three-on-three with Deathwish's worm now under this golf shoe. Doesn't really have any angles, unfortunately. Going to want to wait for that fire to burn away at the top of him, which will open up a little bit more, but by the time that happens, obviously it'll be too late. Could bring himself down a little bit to the left here and thread a, a bazooka shot straight up to aim at a load of crap's worm on that top ledge. I think that's what he's going to be going for here. It's pretty much the only available shot here to him. And straight in the pond. There we go. It is down to three on two. It's happening thick and fast in this one That's so far. you got to think that a load of crap next worm oh, no. is going to be the one on the right-hand side of the map. So he could go low or he could go high. What is he going to do? I think the high shot would definitely give a shot from underneath would project that worm far enough into the drink. Looks like he's going to be going for that indeed. I'll land straight in the water. Watch. Oh, and if he'd have just oh, caught Deathwish's nice worm, I think he would have got a two for one. Unfortunately not, but Deathwish here, maybe cross map shot and splatter damage would push a load of crap's worm into the drink on that bottle on the left hand side. Unfortunately, oh sorry, not unfortunately, differently. I thought he was going to go for the uh, one on the right, but he is not. He is going to do what I thought he would do originally. Are we going to see a rocket bounce? We are indeed. He does say that every time one's on, you've got to go for it, and it's two on one. Everything on the left-hand side is now obliterated, and we focus our attention on the right here. You've got to think with this shot, though, a load of crap is going to bring it down to a one-on-one. You never know. Well, he... What you got to love about Worms, you have two different styles of map. You have one that plays out like a game of chess that goes on and on and on. And then you've got the other where the action is thick and fast and a load of crap. Wow, he's actually missed the shot, unfortunately. Very unfortunate shot for him. You've got to think, though, now, Deathwish with the 94 Worm, I think, is to play. He's going to scale this left-hand side of where this boot was and where all this area has been destroyed. So watch this space. What can he do? Will he grenade it? I think he will. Well, it's up. Let's see where the load of crap's worm ends up. He ends up right below Deathwish's worm. So, he could bring the worm down here and in an attempt to send it flying. So, watch this space. I think that's what he's going to do. May yeah, take some damage himself here shot. from this, but it'll be a small price to pay. There we go. And there we go, okay. one on one. Deathwish though only needs to just yeah. get a nice little grenade over yeah, the top there, to and that worm is history. And Deathwish will I, I take match, match number two. The shot is the thing. 
doesn't have to be too accurate with this shot. And there we go. Just enough damage by three hit points. And Deathwish takes match number two. Nicely done. Two in a row. Well, that was like last night. But away we go. And here we go with match number three, which is going to be another pond map here once the game loads everything in and evenly spread looks like a load of crap to get us underway here but we got both worms got a high worm and you got to think that the more there's going to be more carnage over on that left hand side as death wishes worm is surrounded by two barrels and two mines on that golf boot watch out for that shot we may see a rocket shot here though from a load of crap attacking this worm down below it bounces and there we go doesn't quite have enough Velocity, though, to push Deathwish's worm into the drink, that which is out. surprisingly nice. given nice how steep shot, that but wall is. But uh, uh, Deathwish here with I'm time for a retaliation. Surely going to go for the worm shot. at the low left. Does indeed. There it is on the barrels. 80 bit of fire damage, and that is going to end that worm just, I must say, with 102 damage. Well, two barrels or three barrels. Well, load of crap. Is, Next yeah, to play. You uh, should be dead. And nowhere for me to go. So yeah, I am not. Oh, come uh, on, really? It's going to be the worm that's right down oh, here. And he sets off the mine, oh, which he, um, he does me? send I Death Wish's worm at flying. Only four damage though from that, but damages his own worm a lot more than his opponent. And uh, yeah, he was a little bit too close to the mine, unfortunately. Not a lot you can do. Surely Deathwish is going to take out the high worm here. It's straight up in the air. And doesn't actually do that. A little bit too far to the left and doesn't take enough of that platform the worm was stood on. Out. So that worm lives to fight another day. And it's probably going to be that worm up next. But be very careful. He's not really got much room to maneuver there. And it looks like he may even be stuck in that little root there. I think Deathwish has pushed him in be very careful though with the bazooka is he going to get caught on pixels he should be able to clear it can he send death wish to a watery grave he can indeed good shot from a load of crap pretty much the only thing he could have done and we are back now to a three on three with death wish here is he going to go high once more or is he going to try a cross map i think he's going to go cross map he's pulling out the grenade so opting not to get rid of the easy worm here. Good shot. Maximum damage up and over and just manages to stay out of the drink there for a load of crap's worm. But I mean, look, he's literally got his eyes out of the water and nothing else. So very much hanging on by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> But we could see some big damage here from a load of crap with this worm on the left hand side. He's going to target the barrel. And that worm is into the drink. Three on two in flavour of a load of crap in this one now. With Death Wish to play next with his high worm. Not really a lot of options here for him. Other than to drop a grenade down and see what sort of damage he could do. If he could get the timing right, he could potentially get splatter damage as the grenade damage, drops down. Probably going to see a one second timer here from Deathwish. We'll see. Ups for two. But managed to roll it around and get it close enough. So, good shot from Deathwish. I did wonder if he was going to try and get the damage as the grenade was falling down, but damage is damage. It's probably more of a guaranteed shot for him in regards to damage. A load of crap here isn't really going to be doing a lot with this worm, unfortunately. doesn't have any shots on at all. So, oh, what happened there? I thought he was playing with the high worm, but it must have been the low worm, and he's ended up in the drink and committed suicide. So, okay. <laughs> I completely missed that. I thought it was a 77 worm at the top who was to play, but unfortunately not. Deathwish trying to take out the 77, but um, too low, unfortunately. He just goes underneath, and no damage is endured to that worm. So... Interesting That's setup here. Stuck there. Uh, yeah, it does kind of. I, I mean, a load of crap. Jump. 
probably I, I don't know it, it's a difficult situation to be in um, but maybe it's just better to get rid of that worm and jump into the water maybe and then you've just got one worm who has you, you can focus on but that's just my opinion there I would have probably got rid of it death wish there with rolling the grenade down direct hit and you got to think time is running out here for a load of crap and certainly not looking very good for him at this moment in time see what he can do in retaliation though whether or not he will go for a bazooka shot or try and roll a grenade around that sort of left-hand wall there where the, the arch is. Looks like he's going to go for a bazooka and he's going to try and attack from underneath where Deathwish is. Try and bring him down to his level. Does indeed. Good shot from a load of crap. Deathwish has got a very protective worm though. This this one on the the right of the right of the two for Deathwish is pretty protected. And that's going to be the end of that worm. So it's a two on one. Deathwish's favour. And a load of crap is well below one hit range here. So it's not looking good for a load of crap, unfortunately. That's the plan. But the only thing he can do here is a direct you shot. Over and jump over the mines and escape. But you got to think oh, the next totally turn, totally Deathwish totally is going to retaliate and he is just going to take the win here. Some hopscotch with the mines. Hop, hop. What has been uh, a good showing from Deathwish. Both players have had some fantastic shots though tonight. <laughs> and that first match indeed was uh, very, very tactical towards the end. Well, But it's whether here Deathwish decides to have some fun or if he's just going to be direct and straight to the point. He's looking like he's going to be direct to the point. Nope, he's going for grenade. Nope, there we go. It is Bazooka. Yep, direct, straight to the point. And takes the third victory of this series of matches. And uh, yeah, Deathwish has been on fire tonight. So once again, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying these commentaries as much as I am enjoying making them. Um, we'll be back real soon, hopefully, with some more action from these two titans. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Until next time, happy gaming.